Time now for the GEICO 15. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit GEICO.com to see how much you could save. The Seattle Storm are set to begin their quest to repeat as WNBA champions this Saturday. The Storm enter the season as the favourites to win the title and will tip off Saturday afternoon against the team with the second best odds to win it all, the Las Vegas Aces. And now we have the pleasure of welcoming in two-time WNBA, four-time NCAA and most recently EuroLeague champion Brianna Stewart to CBS Sports HQ. Brianna, it's brilliant to have you with us. Thanks so much for taking the time. We're less than 24 hours away from getting underway with the new season. How are you and how's the team doing? I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. And I think the team is just really excited. Obviously, we have a little bit of a different roster compared to last season, but really looking forward to getting on the court together, um, defending our title and also playing at home in Seattle. Well, the Storm come into the new season with a new logo and you mentioned a couple of roster changes, but still such an experienced core group returns. How does this team for you compare to last year's team heading into the new season? It's different, and, and I think that's the, the biggest comparison is just the fact that it's different. You know, last year we had a core group that was together for a long, long time, and this year we have some newbies. And, you know, to have them in brings brings us a different sense of what we're used to, and it it's just a way where we can continue to teach and learn and win at the same time. Well, you've accomplished so much already, so many titles, both individually and from a team perspective, but you've said there's still another level I can get to. What is next for you to tick off on the goals list, both personally and with the Storm this season? I'm just looking forward to continue to have the opportunity to obviously play basketball. Um, you know, ever since my injury, I had a greater appreciation for that. And you know, just individually want to continue to be my best, continue to be better and continue to help lead this team, um, lead by example. And I talked about the newbies a little bit, but continue to, to kind of lead and show them what it takes to, to really win at this level. Well, you just mentioned your injury there. Last year was your first year back after suffering from that torn Achilles. You won six awards between playing here in the US and over in Russia. I mean, what did it mean to you to have a comeback like that and for all of your recovery work to come to fruition with such a successful season? Absolutely. It was a, a moment where, you know, I had an opportunity to obviously reflect and to reflect and appreciate um, what, what I was able to do in rehab, where I was able to get to, and, and not to just be back, but be back and be better. And I think that, you know, for all those that are going through Achilles injuries right now, whether current WNBA players or, you know, people of other sports, just continue to show them that, you know, you can be back better than what you were. And an Achilles injury isn't going to um, derail you off of where you're trying to go. Well, it's so good to see you back and to see the season so close to getting back underway. But you've also been making such a big impact off the court, doing video calls with young girls teams across the country. I mean, how rewarding is it to be such a huge role model for these girls and the next generation? I think that's just it, you know, continuing to be a role, mo role model, continue to um, be reachable. And, you know, we have all these young girls, young boys looking up to us. And to be able to, to kind of make time, make an opportunity for them to reach out, uh, whether it's on Zoom, you know, ask questions, figure out how they can get to this level that I'm at. And obviously with everything that went on with COVID last year, starting last March, a lot of basketball seasons got cut short or just canceled. Um, so I wanted to, to kind of do my, do my part to continue to give back. And I'm sure so many will be looking forward to seeing you play in person because, of course, last season you were playing in the bubble. I mean, how exciting is it for you and the team that you'll be in home arenas this season with fans in attendance? I can't wait. You know, I think for, for myself personally, I'm looking forward to, you know, playing at home, playing away, playing anywhere with fans. Um, but, you know, I haven't played in Seattle in two years. So just looking forward to that, looking forward to you know, seeing how loud these 2,000 fans that we can have can be. I'm sure they will try their very best to make it feel like a full packed arena. All right, let's talk about shoes. You recently signed with Puma and it was announced that you'll be getting a signature shoe. That makes you the first WNBA player to get a signature shoe in the last 10 years. I mean, what does that mean to you and what has the process been like? 
what it means to, to have a signature shoe, um, obviously it's a great company to be in, but there deserves to be more in that company. You know, there deserves to be more in that group. And I hope that, you know, I'm starting a, a domino effect for those to come after me to realize that, you know, the women's game can continue to, to kind of uh, level up and continue to build. And we deserve signature shoes. We deserve signature products. And, you know, just, just really raising the bar. I think that's the thing is, you know, setting the tone for the industry on, on what's coming um, in the future. Well, it's time now for the Geico 15 second statement. Brianna, the floor is yours. What do you have for us? Uh, my 15 second statement is continue to be you, continue to uh, go after what you love and continue to just kind of reach for those goals for all the young ones out there. Continue to go after your dreams because, you know, if you're trying to achieve them, you can reach them. Well, Brianna, keep lighting the way on and off the court. Thank you so much for your time and best of luck this season. Thank you so much. And here is a look at the opening night slate for Friday night. Brianna and the Storm will have to wait until Saturday for their first game when they take on the Aces. But we do have four games on Friday and it all gets started at 7 p.m. Eastern when Lashes number one pick Sabrina Unescu and the Liberty host the Indiana Fever in Brooklyn. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.